Okay, I'm a little nervous to say number four because I feel like it might ruffle some feathers, but I am Chrissy. I am the face behind the camera here at the Francis Frames where I specialize in documenting elopements and intimate weddings. And today I'm super excited because I'm talking about something a little different and that is trends that we are kicking to the curb as we enter 2023, or at least my predictions of them. Based on what I've seen this year, if you're planning a wedding for 2023 or even 2024, stick around, we got some tea to spill. Number one, uniformity. It's not here to stay. People want a little variety, whether that means picking certain traditions that they want to include in their wedding day and not feeling obligated to do certain things just because that's how they've been done for millions of years. Nay, nay, we are choosing aspects of traditions that feel good to us, that represent who we are as individuals. And by we, I mean couples who are getting married. Another part of uniformity that's out is your wedding party wearing the same type of uniform. Whether it's people who wear suits, they're gonna be different colors, there's gonna be different textures, there's gonna be more variety. People who wear dresses or pantsuits, hello! There are other types of outfits people can wear, same style, and same color, and same texture, and we want variety, we want variety. 2023, let's give it to her. Speaking of wedding parties, let them sit down during the ceremony. That's number two, standing wedding parties. She's gonna be out. They're not, it's not gonna happen, it's not staying. Let your people sit down. There's no need for them to stand up next to the couple. The couple have their moment, everyone will be happy. Number three is for sure out. It's been on a steady decline, but it's like rapidly going downhill in 2023. Stuffy poses, no thank you. You and your partner and your wedding party and your family don't wanna be standing in the same awkward positions for an hour. Have some fun with it, have some music playing. Get the vibes high, do a fun pose, do something silly, get everyone laughing, have a good time, get some drinks involved. Whatever you wanna do, just make it fun and interesting and unique to you. That's not to say that editorial poses are done. I'm just saying stuffy. There's a difference. I'm a little nervous to say number four because I feel like it might ruffle some feathers, but wedding hashtags, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, they're out. <laughs> See, I'm nervous. I say this with love because there is quite a logical reason to go with this wedding hashtag being out situation. And that's because people just aren't posting static photo posts as often on Instagram anymore. And if they are, they're just not getting quite the same amount of attention. People are gravitating more towards stories and those hashtags disappear after 24 hours. And also some people are gravitating towards reels. I think there's just a more efficient way of gathering all the photos that your friends and family take during the reception at your wedding than to go on wedding hashtags, you know? Sorry. Lastly, number five is overly edited photographs. Now, this is because I, well, I, I have strong opinions on this one. I say this for a few reasons. First and foremost, when couples look back at their wedding photo, they want to be transported back to a moment in time. And in order to do that, the photo needs to look and feel familiar to how the actual moment felt in real time. When a photo is overly edited, it becomes harder for couples to relate to them to their past self. It's similar to filters that are used on Instagram and other social media platforms that completely blur your face or that change the shape of your nose and your jawline. Like it's just ridiculous. People are over it. People want something real and authentic that they can look back on and relate to and remember. And I'm sorry, but when you're airbrushed like a doll, <laughs> that's just, it just, it's not relatable. It was super long winded, but those are the five wedding trends that I for sure think are being kicked to the curb as we enter 2023. Stay tuned for part two, which is the wedding trends that we are gonna see more of in 2023.